Hi folks, I'm back with probably my last video around the Aura Ring. I've covered before uh, the mobile interfaces mostly and the trending and some of the certain information they show you on the mobile app itself. So today I'm actually going to go more into the desktop interface just briefly and I especially want to show you what the trend graphs look like and what you can do with them and certain trends that I'm already seeing. So it shouldn't be too long. This is the main desktop view that you see when you log into the website. So it's the dashboard view over here. You can see uh, previous, previous days here. If you go back, um, you can see the readings. And we are actually at the moment on the 27th of April. So it's showing at the moment the sleep score uh, this is for last night, obviously, then. Total actual sleep, lowest resting heart rate, uh, how much time I spent in different um, stages of sleep, uh, the different sleep stages, uh, again with the totals, the resting heart rate while sleeping. Uh, that's probably where my heart stopped, I suppose, for a short bit. Temperature deviation and respiratory rate as well. Remember I said before these are the sort of things, especially these down here at the bottom, the temperature and the respiratory rate are the type of things to be monitored for an oncoming illness, uh, which is what Aura Ring is looking at. Then on the readiness side, again it's just the roll-up summary really that you're seeing here. This again is just the sleep stats it's superimposing and showing. And activity would have been for fitness type exercises and movement during the day. So I did a, uh, what do you call it, I did an exercise this morning for 35 minutes. So I think that will show up as, uh, oh, it will probably be showing up a bit lower here then. Let me just see, the, that's the roll-up summaries in active time. There's my sleep during the night, that's when I woke up, that's my exercise period there, these big green graphs, and these are obviously when I went to go make coffee or something. And then there's duration. So you'll see here, medium activity was my elliptical training, 36 minutes. And then that's just the daily calorie stats and, and burn. But I think the interesting part, this is what I want to show you, was the trends. So the trend graphs, you can decide at the top here how much or how little you, you actually want to look at. They've got the first two default ones. They're playing off here temperature deviation while you're sleeping, which is this color over there versus your readiness score and I'll just briefly show you where you can get more information about these. At the moment it's saying not enough data points for correlation which is I'm not sure how long it actually takes to get a correlation. It's trying to establish a baseline I think and looking for correlation. Um, if I So maybe if there's something really interesting around that I might just do a very very brief video in the future just to show what the correlations are they're showing you. These two at the bottom I've added myself and you can, by the way, at the bottom you can see add chart, you can add more charts if you want to. But I'm trying to have a look at how medium activity, in other words, when I exercise, how to fix sleep score. So you can see here medium activities in green. That is obviously where I exercised. Here I didn't exercise. There I did. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, there I did exercise, I didn't exercise for two days, I exercised. And if you notice something interesting here, it's not that easy to see, um, I've had to draw some arrows, but if you have a look, the day I exercised here, there, that's during the day, that evening, my sleep score improved. So you can see a, a sleep score going up sharply from where I exercised, it went down. Exercise, sleep score rose, went down, Yes, there's a, a small rise over there, but then there was also quite a big drop in my sleep score. But look here again. So there where I exercised, look at that line there, sharply up again. Sleep score improved. Tailed off a bit. There I exercised, went up again. So I've done a, another little image that shows that maybe with a better, but better detail. There you can actually see where I've drawn the arrows in. And it just shows there there is a pretty clear correlation that I'm seeing, although they don't have enough data points yet, I'm clearly seeing that exercise is certainly translating into better sleep for me, uh, a direct correlation. The other thing I can just show here briefly is though, 
where I'm saying I can choose anything over here that I want to look at. So I could say, I want to see maybe how low activity um, correlates to sleep efficiency or maybe not sleep efficiency. Maybe I want to see how it relates to deep sleep time. So you can choose any two variables on either side. So there's quite a lot to play with here. Um, let me just have a look. That's just activity. But you could have taken, say, on your readiness score, you could have looked at how your temperature, temperature deviation when you're sleeping uh, affects maybe deep sleep time. Or even I've got to look at something like restlessness. That's a, another issue I need to keep an eye on. So maybe what I'll probably look at is uh, where's the restlessness here? Hmm. Bedtime. Uh, latency is how long it takes for you to fall asleep. Uh, REM time, awake time. Okay, I'm actually not sure if uh, restlessness maybe isn't actually a score itself then, um, or if I missed it. But anyway, you can point it out to me if I've missed it. So that's basically the trend graphs. As I say, you can play around. That's this is the exciting part. It's open to you to play around and change that quite a bit. The only thing I would like to see from Aura at this stage is I'm not seeing the tags. As I showed on the previous video for mobile, I can add a tag to indicate I had alcoholic drinks at five o'clock in the afternoon. I had late caffeine or I had a late meal. I had outdoor activity or sunshine during the day at two o'clock for 30 minutes. Those are the things I would like to still see against these graphs, but I could see how it's affecting things like sleep or, or other factors. So that's something, it's not impossible. Apparently it might be doing it on the iOS app, but I've asked that they look at it for the desktop, for this web version, as well as for the Android app. I am inputting it in the Android app. I'm just not seeing those tags at the moment. Then one last quick thing we can just have a look at is the guide. The guide is where, if you wanted to know what is the sleep score, what, what are the, how they're measuring it and what is it about and what does it mean, this is the guide that you can look at. They've got things like um, sleep latency. They explain it here. Bedtime. It is quite important to try and keep going to bed at the same time to, uh, to synchronize with your internal clock. Don't keep varying your, your bedtime, your deep sleep. Things like the respiratory rate, why is it important? I think temperature was on here somewhere. Where's temperature? I'm not finding temperature. I think it's under somewhere else maybe. And then under activity, you can see why is move every hour important? Training frequency, what is it? So again, if you're in doubt as to what it is on that graph, you could come to this guide and have a look and see why maybe it's important or why would you want to consider it? Oh, there's body temperature. So that's measured there while you're sleeping each night. It establishes a baseline of zero and it's basically showing if you're going up or down. Obviously, if you see something going up, you're going to be worried about possible illnesses or COVID-19 type scenarios. Average heart rate variation versus things like low resting heart rate. And there's also recovery index. So yeah, there's quite a lot. There's a lot of information that this ring is actually gathering. And remember again that it's not using green light. It's using infrared light. So it can read a lot deeper into, uh, into the veins and so on as to what's happening with blood pressure and uh, temperature and all that sort of thing as well. So yeah, okay, just that brief overview that I wanted to show around the trend graphs then. And that's probably it from the aura then. I will, if like I said, there's anything that happens of the correlations that are of interest, I will do another video on it again. But yeah, enjoy your day and thanks very much for watching.